Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Vivian and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of cells. I have also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question four, the diagram below shows a single celled organism P. Organism P has a cap and a nucleus at its base. A scientist wanted to confirm the function of the nucleus in organism P, so he cut it into two halves as shown below. Which of the following observations could possibly occur after a few days? So let us begin by looking at organism P. We see that it has been cut into two halves. What is the difference between both halves? We see that the base contains the nucleus, while the cap does not. So let us write that down. The cap has no nucleus, while the base has a nucleus present. Now let us look at statement one. It says that the cap will grow a new base with nucleus. So the key thing to focus on is actually the word grow. Think about it. In order for living things to grow, what do they need? They need energy. And do you recall, what is the process that releases energy? It is respiration. Now, which cell part is responsible for controlling the process of respiration? It is the nucleus. Hence, if the cap does not have a nucleus, will it be able to carry out respiration? No, there will be no respiration. So if there is no respiration, will the cap be able to release energy? No as well. And lastly, without energy, what will happen to the cap? It will eventually die. Hence, the first statement over here is wrong as the cap dies. Statement 2. It says that both the cap and its base with nucleus will remain alive. Previously, we mentioned that the cap will eventually die. But how about the base with the nucleus? This time, with a nucleus present, is the base able to carry out respiration? Yes. And what is released in the process? energy. So let us write this down. With the nucleus present, the base is able to carry out respiration to release energy. And with energy, will the base be able to grow? Yes, it will. So this is for growth of the base. Hence, the base will actually stay alive. However, statement 2 is incorrect, as in this case, the cap will not remain alive. Now let us look at statement 3. It says that the base with nucleus will dry up while the cap remains alive. Is this statement correct? Does the base dry up? So the base is over here. We said that it continues to grow. So this is incorrect. And how about the cap? Does the cap remain alive? No as well. We said that the cap will eventually die. So with that, statement 3 is also incorrect. Now let's look at the last statement, statement 4. It says that the cap will dry up while the base will continue to grow. So is it true that the cap will dry up? The cap is over here. We know that eventually it dries up and dies. So this is correct. And when we talk about the base, is it true that it continues to grow? Yes, we said that the base continues to grow. So this part of the statement is correct as well. So with that, our answer should be option number four. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!